Hi, now that you've learned how to monitor legal risk and transparency using this dashboard that we've looked at here, we're going to show you how easy it is to create documents on the platform. We, we think of the documents on the platform in the three stages of negotiation, which is invitation, negotiation, and execution. But when we begin an invitation, we have to actually draft the document. The library of documents available for digitization on the platform for ISDA Create are in several categories or document packs. There are the ISDA initial margin documents, which are comprised of 23 digitized documents of all ISDA published documents related to regulatory initial margin. We have the two-page amendment agreement based on the 2003 published ISDA two-page amendment. We have the interest rate reform documents for LIBOR, IBOR, interest rate reform. And lastly, we'll talk a little bit about today, we have the ISDA master agreement and schedule with the embedded ISDA clause libraries for both the 2002 ISDA master agreement and the 1992 ISDA master agreement. As part of the documents in the library, there is a concept called presets on the platform. Presets is another word for templates. So think of it in the old fashioned days as a way that you go on and locate a template. The presets is a very simple way to both create a document and respond to a document on the platform in a negotiation. Let me show you how that works now. Let's start with an ISDA initial margin document. Let's start with a 2018 IMCSA New York law. You simply scroll over to the new invitation button, click the button, and you come to a list of presets on the next page. The presets bespoke means blank. And then there are two presets here available for the, for the counterparty to choose. In this case, I'm going to choose preset two. I hit the select button. The platform automatically populates the document with the preset that you have selected, just like choosing a template, but much easier and faster. We're going to watch this in a second. The platform is going to open up. Now we see the form of the document on the right side of the page with all the clauses that would need digitized at the bottom in light blue. And on the left side of the platform, these are the election boxes where the counterparty would have to provide information. What the preset does is it creates an extra step where the document has already pre-populated almost all of the elections. This is the preset that I've chosen, and all these gray buttons indicate that. And by clicking these little arrows, you only have three elections that need to be completed. So I can very easily come to those two particular elections. And by clicking the relevant information, you can see I've now created another check. Here also, I'm making two selections and drafting that in the document here. I've now completed every election except for parties, which I do at the next stage by selecting the parties and inviting the party onto the platform. By selecting my entity, searching for any entity tied to the GLEI database, adding a counterparty, typing an email user at that institution, confirming parties, and setting the invitation. And that's how we draft the document. I'm going to do one or two more to show you how simple it is across the platform. I'm going to now choose a rate reform document. Let's choose a Eurostar. Again, choosing new invitation. I'm going to choose the only preset, but spoke means blank. Again, the platform is now populating the draft document with all of the provisions that I have already created. In this case, the document is complete. And all I need to do is move to select parties. Let me delete this invitation to show you on an ISDA master agreement, which is a much more complex document. I'm gonna show you one more layer in drafting a document, including adding approvals and comments. In this case, I'm going to do an invitation for the ISDA master agreement. I'm going to choose a preset with information populated. Again, the platform is automatically drafting the agreement with the information that I have already previously identified as my preset or template. By clicking these arrows, I can now see that I have drafted the entire agreement. There's only one incomplete identification of parties. Although in this case, when I'm drafting the document, I'm actually gonna create some additional layers where I'm gonna create comments for a counterparty. So I'm going to change the document from the preset. You can see that it's changing on the right side as I click through various elections. And I'm going to put in a comment for the counterparty 
by clicking this external comment at the bottom. Please revert on any affiliates. When the counterparty receives this particular invitation and document, they will then know that I am prompting them for some piece of information to complete the negotiation of this provision. Similar to the comment feature, you can have internal comments within your organization. You can also create the need for an approvers. This is adding the ability for the platform when you're negotiating between counterparties to trigger an approval requirement for a particular provision or clause in any document, which means that you remove the legal department or the negotiating team as a middleman, and it says, hey, heads up, if this particular provision comes back different from what our standard agreement requirement is, there's going to be an approval requirement triggered to this particular person, in this case, me again, as the approver, and it will send an automatic email to that particular person at that organization during the negotiation. So that's kind of just how simple it is to draft and create documents, adding approvals and adding comments, both internally and externally when you're using the platform.